<laughs> oh my ass, man. You looking good, champ. You looking good, man. How are anything going? It's going, man. You know, can't complain. Never complain. Ain't gonna do no good too anyway. That's right, that's right. But well, we live now, man. Look what we got yeah. here, man. We got the Might DC well. DMVs, man. Sean Bay Mitchell, man, two time. Let's see what we got here. WBA IBF champ, Merlin Sports Hall of Famer, man. The little big man, Sean Bay Mitchell, man. What's going on, champ? Ain't nothing. What's happening with y'all, man? Man, just chilling, chilling, man. The first thing I want to know, man, how's the timing, man? I mean, what's going on with timing? Like, do you miss boxing? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's funny. I, I I get asked that all the time, right? Uh -huh. And um, and I let people know that you know, being in training camp for you know, eight nine weeks, three days every day except Sunday, man. Listen, it ain't about the fight. It's more about training camp now. If I could do it, if I could do it without, if I could do it without uh training, then absolutely i will probably miss it <laughs> but <laughs> nah. I, I don't miss getting hit i don't miss getting hit every day and having to lose weight and all that crazy stuff man it's absolutely crazy that's right hey, man you know what lewis i i mean we we had my my younger brother lamont peterson on the show a couple of months ago right and uh, okay. he said the same thing sean but he said we said lewis asked him the same question and he said the same thing he said he he don't miss it he said the eight being cranky, nah, cut listen, man. listen, man, man. So Lamont started going to training camp with me. You know, I started taking him down to Florida, down in my house in Florida, in Vero Beach, man. He started going to training camps and stuff. So that was the first time that they kind of saw a training camp. Mm -hmm. Listen, man, it's no joke. It's, it's no joke. It's, it's something different. Um, but it, it pays the price of what you need to do. Um, exactly. you know, when, when you're getting ready for these big fights and stuff like that, man, you just need to get away, um, get away from the city, get away from the people, get away from all the problems and, you know, leave all that stuff behind because when you're going to those fights, man, I always tell people it's, it's, um, it's the closest thing to death Damn. and the closest <laughs> thing to death because you, because you're getting hit around your head, man. It only take one punch, man. Yeah. It only take yeah. one punch to, to let you get out of there and, um, you know, when um when you get hit around your head like that, man, you know, it, like I said, it's the closest thing to death. Yeah, he couldn't describe it no better, man. So I'm just curious, man, how did Sean Bay Mitchell get into uh boxing? Because I think I have it right, <laughs> man. You was a football player. You was like all state or something football player. What? Right? Yeah. yeah, man. I was I was all county running back, man. I played for um Landover Hills, I played for Highsville. Um, we went to the championships and everything, man. Um, I had a a great coach. I had a great backfield, man. We was the we, listen, man. We was a beast. <laughs> we was a beast, man. Mm. But you know, it's funny. Um, I was just into sports. Period. My dad came past my house one day, man, and picked me up and said, "Come on, ride with me somewhere." And um, I took a ride with him. He took me to the gym in Highsdale. He asked me, um, you know, what you think. <laughs> like, what you mean? What I think, you know, it's all right. <laughs> you know, when you're a kid, when you're a kid, I was eight years old, man. You know, when you're a kid, it's like, whatever. You know, it's just another sport. I guess it's another sport that's going to get me in shape for my other sport. <laughs> so, exactly. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you, so, you so wanna... that's actually how I got into boxing, man. Okay. I remember that, man. That's so you wasn't playing on it. You were playing on uh, being a star tailback, not no uh, world champion boxer, huh? I, man, all I all I wanted to do was play football. That's all. I wanted to play football. I was playing football. I was playing soccer. Man, I, listen, I was the I was the best forward in soccer that you can name in in Landover. I was the best mm -hmm. forward out there, son. I was mm -hmm. fast. I, I could I could kick the ball, man. I, I, I was one of the ones that had the highest goals and everything, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can yeah. see that, man, because your footwork was pretty good. You have to have footwork to be <laughs> playing soccer, any position in soccer, man, other than a goalie. You have to have good footwork. Absolutely, and it played a, 
and it actually did something for me with boxing. So, you know, my footwork and stuff like that, me to get out the way and stuff like that. And I try to teach some of the, the people, the kids and the stuff, the people that I train now, the same thing, you know, get out the way. Your feet, your legs are everything, your knees are everything. Man, you and uh, you right over there. And when you brought up, um, you you don't, you don't miss making the weight, man. How was it when you um champion and training all them years? How was it making weight? You ever had a lot of problems, or you just made it? Absolutely, <laughs> man. Look, my training camps were fat boy camps. I called them fat boy camps. <laughs> I, I literally, I literally went. I mean, I, I like to eat. I eat anything, man, but and I always eat healthy, but I just like to eat. So, um, you know, I would go in a training camp, man, at 170, 175 pounds, something like that. I had to drop all the way down to 140. Wow. Damn. So, yeah, you know, man, that's, yeah, that's, that's so hard, that, man. I, I, you know what? But, it takes you know me what? back. It's, fun. it's, fun. it's funny. When you're young, and and in shape, very easy to get off because they nothing but a lot of water weight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you get older, Slim, woo -wee. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, you ain't gotta tell me. I'm older that's than he, you and I know. That's what he hey look, Yo, that's what listen. he talk about all the time, man. <laughs> man, shit, that shit like you right get now, older, man. Exactly. Like right now, man, listen. Yo, it's hard to get it's so hard to get off, but it takes me about a month and a half, two months, just to start really dropping weight Damn. the way I need to. And when I get it off, I try to keep it off, but it's just it's so hard. Like because I train every like three or four days out of a week, it kind of stays at a level, right? Mm -hmm. I don't get no higher than like 180, 180 something, something like that. You know what I'm saying? But um. <clears throat> I probably could be, I know I could be smaller if I want to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want to be a fat ass donkey right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I, I figured, man, you've been eating good your whole Boston career most of the time to get, you know, train up, man. Fuck, you like sit back, man. Fuck that. I'm enjoy this, huh? Yeah. Listen, man. You know <laughs> I, I don't never want, so my wife, my wife always getting on the scale. I, man, get off that scale. I, I don't even want to see a scale. I said, and then, and then it ain't the scale that tell you the rat. You got to pitch that fat. That fat burnt. That's what. That's where the weight at. Mm -hmm. And people don't understand. Like it ain't got nothing to do with the scale. That scale could be light as hell. But guess what? The love mm -hmm. handles gonna be everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look. That takes me back to one of your fights, man. I remember um hearing an interview when you fought Costa Zoo the second time. You had at one forty, right? And you told yeah. you said you, you said. If you would have had to lose one more pound, you would just took the gloves off and say, fuck this, I ain't doing it. <laughs> oh, no. I, I wouldn't have, because I was just so surprised. Like, when I got on the scale, it hit the top. And I was like, I was just like, man, I can't do it. I don't have any, I don't have nothing else I can lose. There's nothing else I can lose. First mm -hmm. of all, we already in Arizona. It's 125 degrees out there, motherfucker. I end up having to go run in 125 degrees in a wet suit to make weight i was drained out my brain already so i was just like forget it they either gonna find me or i'm gonna make this weight one up and the, and, the, and then the scale came down and i was like oh god he said yeah you made it <laughs> yeah. that's right man that's great hey let's go back man 1996 man when you won your first belt tell us about that experience man how you feel so 96 that was i think i fought on the bow car right was that the bow car <laughs> yeah yeah i thought so yeah that was the bow car I, I won the um nabf yep the nabf championship and um i knocked dude out in the first round <laughs> now and it, it was funny because um <clears throat> that's the fan man that's the fan man fight mm. um yeah yeah you know what damn <laughs> and 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 I and I um and it's weird because I'm I'm walking back to my room and um Lou Gossip Jr. stops me. 
I, you know, I love Lou Gossett Jr. Lou Gossett Jr. stopped me and said, man, you a hell of a fighter, Sean Bay, and knew my name and everything, man. I, I tripped out. <laughs> I, I, I was, I, I act like a, I act like a groupie at that time. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, hey, it happens, man. I can only imagine since you say, you know, groupie with, with uh, Lou Gossip Jr. I saw a picture of you with uh, Marvin Hagler and Sugar Ray Leonard, man. To be in between yeah. them two guys when you watch them <laughs> coming up, man. What was that like, man? It was incredible because it's funny. Um, we were at the um, the Hall of Fame inductions, right? When Mark mm -hmm. when Mark Tushaw got inducted, I always told Mark, I said, man, if you go there or if I go there first, whichever one, I'm I'm listen, I'm gonna be there, and I was definitely there for him, right? So mm -hmm. Ray Ray come up to me and he said, Sean Bay, man, you would never believe this. I was like, what are you talking about, right? So he said, man, Marvin finally spoke to me. He actually <laughs> spoke to me, and I oh, said, man. "What?" He said, "Man, so he did." I lie you not. He said, "Sean Bay, you know I've never spoke to him after our fight. After our fight, I've never ever spoke to him before ever." And I said, "For real, man?" So I went over to Marvin. Me and Marvin was talking, and I said, "Man, listen, I know this beef, and it ain't really no beef. It ain't nothing but boxing, man." Come on, man. We coming together. So I pulled them both together and took a picture with them. Man. That's tough, man. That's tough. Oh, don't That's tell tough. You, man. That was a lot of animosity between them two, man, for for decades, oh, man. Listen, I didn't even I didn't know it was that bad because Ray was actually excited that this man spoke to him. No bullshit. I like listen to me, man. I, I was just like, wow, because my wife was with me. I was like, hey, you know, Ray just came over and said to me, like. I can't believe that even could be true because, you know, in boxing, we have so-called what you call enemies at the time when you're fighting. Like me and Zab was always at each other, but I don't mm -hmm. dislike Zab. Zab, you know, cool dude. I wish him all the well and stuff like that. Even when he was when he got hurt in that last fight, I, I tried to call him and, you know, wish him well and all that. But, you know, um, it's all about let's make some money, mm -hmm. you know. At the end of the day, it's about let's make some money, and at the end of the day, I want you to be with. Exactly, man. I totally agree with that, man. Hey, let me ask you: Do you think DC fighters um, get their props enough, man? Do they, you know, that they deserve in boxing, man? I'm talking about little DC, Maryland, and Virginia boxers, man. They give respect. Well, it's it's hard. Um, It's the we have, we have a, we got a lot of fighters that can fight their ass off, especially in yeah. the, in the days that I came up. We had a lot of fighters to fight their ass off, but it just some of them took the the wrong way to get to some <clears throat> of the right fights. I, I did whoever backed them or whoever was um, backing them as far as getting them fights and promoting them or managing them didn't manage them right. Um, it was weird. They would fight here in, you know, fight in D.C. and stuff like that. And you get these, you know, uh, corner, corner bums to come in to fight them and, and, um, and you knocking them out. But it realistically, that ain't really how it really goes. You know, mm -hmm. you gotta, you gotta step yourself up to guys that used to be in Boston or your old timers that, have a lot of experience to show you how what the experience is. Not really beat you, but show you the experience and give you a nice tough fight. And I I just was fortunate enough to link up with the right people in Atlantic City and then from there um pull my, my cousin uh Nate in from and 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 make him link up with the right people too and had a had an absolutely great career um and i think i probably other than ray i probably was the other person from dc to be, really get on you know bring tv back to dc bring all of the nationality back to dc you know mm -hmm. stuff like that and it's weird because i'm not i don't you don't get the i don't get the recognition from dc to you know 
towards me that I brought all this stuff back into my city, back into mm-hmm. my city and represent my city. But, you know, y'all don't come back and get nobody. Y'all don't come back and, you know, invite me out. To, you know, and yeah, I'm trying to figure out how I get into, I'm born and raised in D.C., and I'm trying to figure out how I get into the Maryland Hall of Fame before I get into the DC Boxing Hall of Fame. Are you serious? <laughs> right. Come on, man. Yeah. That's a I'm not question. me. I'm not in the DC Hall of Fame. I, I was born in DC. I wasn't born in Maryland. I was born in DC. <laughs> no me. Right. Providence Hospital. <laughs> August twenty seventh, baby. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Hey, he you said know? that hostility. Yeah, that's hey, an old look, school hostility. That hostility, boy, I tell you, man. My, my I, point but, exactly. I lived in Tacoma Park. I lived in 13th and, 13th and Rittenhouse. Come on, man. I had a yeah. grandmother that lived on the Prince George's County side of, of, of um, Tacoma Park. So guess what? My mother wouldn't let me go into no D.C. schools, and she wanted me to go to Maryland schools. So, hey, it is what it is. Right, man. Exactly, I know we got man. a lot of questions that's, that's, in the chat, man. I knew that, I knew that was gonna hit a, hit enough because I'm like, man, we got a lot of fighters, man, but don't get no recognition like they. I think they should be should man, be getting, I'm, man. I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Um, you know, like you, you got people that brought like we, I brought a lot of stuff, a lot of notoriety back to DC, right? We the only we the only place in the whole wide world to have. Five world champions, five. Yeah. I'm born and raised in D.C., yeah. Maryland, that was champions all at one time. All at one time. Yeah. Get we didn't invite to the wild. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> tough, man. I, I didn't think about that, that one. I ain't yeah, think exactly. about that one, man. I look back on that, man. I know we got a lot of questions in the chat, but I'm going to get this question in, um, um, uh, Sean Bay. Um, when you look back, right, on your career early on you was a highly decorated uh amateur you know what i'm saying i think you had to wait till you turn 18 to f- sign for your first uh pro fight i think you signed Look, with top I had rank, a, right yeah i had the, i had a lot of weight i had a it was a lot of first for me when i was coming up it wasn't that easy for me to do anything i listen even as an amateur i had to get permission to turn open class because i wouldn't fight as a novice when I was 14 years old, I had to wait a whole year. I sat out a whole year and I came back the next year. I had to get permission to fight in the, the uh, Olympic Festival uh, preliminary. And I ended up winning the whole thing. I ended up winning the whole thing. I was the youngest one. So when I was on the Olympic team, I was the youngest one on the team. And then Mark came. Me and Mark were the two youngest on the on the 1988 Olympic team. They thought we was going to stick around for another four years and put us in these crazy brackets, and we end up losing stupid decisions in the in the in the um, in the box office and stuff like that, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I had to get permission to I had to get permission to go to the Olympic festival. I had to get permission if if I'd have won the Olympic festival, I had to get permission to go to the box off and everything. I had to get permission. Yeah, wow. That's not heard of now. That stuff right, right there is not even heard of. Exactly. That stuff crazy, man. And, oh, and it's weird. Th- it's weird. I, I had to get I had to get permission to even fight in Atlantic City to fight eight rounds and to fight in Vegas to be able to fight eight rounds in Vegas. I had to get permission because I was still too I was at that young age. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Eighteen years old. Yeah, yeah, we understand that, man. A lot of people in the comments, they say, what's up, champ? How you doing, man? Big dog in here. He say, was he ever signed um, to top rank? Has he heard about the NBF policy at top rank? No, I, I've never, I never was uh, signed with top rank. Um, I was signed with uh, people that that know um, okay. top rank, and that's Frank Gale. And, then, and Frank Gale, that was the first people I was, uh, signed with, and that's how I had the um, the Tuesday night fights on USA. Remember them? Yes, USA indeed. Tuesday yeah. night fight. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's yes. how I got on ESPN on 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 um, USA on um, Tuesday nights and all that, and for the Atlantic City a lot. Yeah, 
Yeah, thanks for clearing that up. I'm telling you, man, that that that's crazy, there, man. Future magazine say that's my man all around, good dude, a true living legend, Northwestern. <laughs> man, <laughs> absolutely, today, absolutely. Man. Everybody say what's up, Miss Sexy Monica. Oh, we got a lot of women in here. Sean Bay bringing in all the women, Lou. Yeah, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Is that what we got to do? <laughs> we have to cut a check. I'll tell you. Listen, Miss Sexy, is he training any anyone we know? Who you training, champ? Um, no one. I, I'm a, I'm in Baltimore right now, right? So, mm -hmm. I got. I got this look. I got this kid, man. That is, oh, he's dynamite. I got, I, I took him down to Upton Boxing Club, um, because I train at a, a gym called uh, Title Boxing. So I started shorty there. Um, little dude got dynamite, Anthony. I, he just mm -hmm. turned seventeen, but this Joker could rumble, man. Listen to me, he can fight. Mm -hmm. And when I when I when I when I met him, he didn't know how to throw a punch or nothing, man. But the Joker could rumble, man. I got him. I got this kid from um, from Jordan. He's from Jordan. Um, his name is Abe. He's gonna be good. Okay. He's like twenty two or twenty three, I think he is. Um, I'm gonna get him a couple of amateur fights, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna turn him pro. But right. he can he can rumble too. Okay, so that's what you're doing there. And you I got, got a couple of people that I got a couple of people that uh, want me to train them. That's looking to turn pro and stuff like that. So you know, um, Marcus Red, he's from Baltimore too. So you know, I got a couple of people that I, I work with. So I'm great. Just kind of 22. I'm dedicating my life to you know helping people. Um, you know. Uh, getting people in the gym and getting them healthy, man. That's what it's all about. My exactly. wife and her partner, um, her partner, Kazim, they just uh, opened up um, a health and wellness store. It's two of them. We got, it's called the Purple Flip. We do CMOS gels, um, fusions, and a little bit of everything for, you know, losing weight, um, heart rate, and everything, digestive systems, you name it, we got it. Okay, I look forward to seeing that, man. That's something that looks like you um really putting yourself to for twenty twenty two, man. That, that's that's what's up, man. Absolutely, yeah, we got you. It's, it's, it's about it's it's just about you know this COVID stuff is is so critical. It's just about you know keeping people nice and healthy, man. So if y'all get a chance, just go to the website thepurpleflip dot com, and you will see everything there. Thepurpleflip dot com. ThePurpleFlip.com. Got you, man. Got yeah. You. So, you know, I I keep juices and gels and stuff like that with me. So if I need to deliver something, inbox me on my IG or something or mm -hmm. go to my champs, uh, champs training at Yahoo.com and you can email me whatever you want. You know, pick some stuff out. I bring it on down. <laughs> okay, we got you, man. We got you. Hey, um, we got UK up in the house. My man from UK. He said, "What's Boxing up, guys? Dudes, big fan of Sean. If, big fan of Sean Bay. Um, Mr. That's man, want to know? Of... Did you ever Obaka? Yeah. Did I ever what? Did you ever fight Obaka? Did you ever fight Obaka? No, I ne I never fought Obaka. Never fought Obaka. I think that was, um, I think. Daryl for overcome. Daryl, Daryl was at one. Yeah, Daryl was Daryl was at one forty seven. I wasn't at one. Yeah, that's when they cheated him out that fight. Yeah, that was yeah, a good they fight. They cheated him for that yeah. fight, man. Yeah. They damn yeah, sure. Over, hey, man, I, I, yeah. Exactly. I, I I gotta read this all, man, because it just people just don't know this about you, man. You know, we, you were fifty seven and six, right, dude? Yeah, I'm I'm talking about the losses. Paul Williams. Floyd Mayweather, Costa Zoo twice, Stevie Johnson, and Levada Johnson. I mean, come on, man. If you're going to yeah. lose, he losing to the best, man. That's exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. People don't well, even realize were, that, man. They were all world champions, you know. Exactly. Um, and the, my first two losses, I, I kind of, I lost myself. I lost myself because. I was so frustrated that I hadn't gotten a, a world title fight and I was 
31 and 0 or 32 and 0, like, I don't get a world title fight yet. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I kind of off myself and that's when I lost to Levander Johnson. And I was beating him. I was beating him. I just, I, it was so bad. I don't even remember the fight. That's the bad part yeah. about it. And I wasn't even, I was there, but I wasn't there. I think my, um, I think my, my second child was getting ready to be born or I think she was pregnant or something. I don't freaking know, but I think I was mm -hmm. all into that and wasn't into the fight thing, you know, yeah. so I, I fought yeah. myself for that and I blame nobody but myself. Um, the second one, the second one, um, the ref, the, the ref cheated me like a mug. You know, he, I, 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 you know, he hit me with a punch. I go back on the rope and he stops the fight. Come on, are you serious? Like, and that's the guy that, that's the ref that somebody killed him or he killed himself because he was doing um, scandalous things like with uh, fights and stuff like that. He was mm -hmm. doing fights for oh, money okay. and stuff like that. I remember yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, that was that. Yeah. Yeah, and Lewis, um, I'm, yeah, Lewis, I'm glad yeah. you brought that up, man, because we have a thing on the show, man, with Sean Bay. We, we are frustrated with boxing because everybody's scared to lose their O. You lost your O two times in a row, but you put put together a 19-fight winning streak. That shows fortitude. Something is lacking yeah. in the game today, man. If these fighters just don't want to, they don't want to lose early. It's okay to lose. If you look at the names of Lewis' name, all these guys are world champion at one time. So what's your thoughts on that, man? So my thoughts on it is that, man, I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure I'm trying to figure out what the kids nowadays, what are they built out of? Like, did they build us different than they built them? Because <laughs> yeah. it's like it's even with like other sports, football, football, concussion, like, come on, man. Like you you can't hit helmet to helmet. You gotta remember when you play football, and if you ain't have a mark on your helmet, right? That's right. You that gotta get a mark, what? baby. You gotta that, get a mark. That means what? That contact. If you ain't have a mark on your helmet, you must have been sitting on the bench, right? <laughs> exactly. So the mark, the the mark was the thing. Like, come on, man. Like, you getting concussions and stuff. Like, I don't get these kids, but nobody wants to fight anybody. Listen, I, I was one of those ones, man. Listen, if, if you want to fight me, okay. Then if you want to fight, let's go. We can go. Yeah. Yeah. Me, I didn't. I didn't really care because I thought all. I always thought I was the best, mm -hmm. and nobody. I thought nobody could beat me. So guess what? I'm. I'm gonna take that fight. And and I and I, I need you. I need the that that guy to adapt to me. I don't need to adapt to his style. He got to adapt to my style. Exactly. Yeah, they don't do that no so, more, man. So. So that's what I, my guys I teach, I say, once you, if you get in a rhythm, then you make that guy go to your rhythm. You don't go to his rhythm. Because mm -hmm. boxing ain't nothing but a rhythm, man. That's all. It's a rhythm, yeah. Tough rhythm too, man. Boxing dudes want to know, uh, what were you thinking when Raphael Simone uh, pulled your shorts right down after you were uh, beating his ass? <laughs> I remember that shit, man. Hey, wait, hold, 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 hold. Why, wait, hold, why, why you have to go there? Like for hey. real? <laughs> so that was on bloopers and everything, man. It was, yeah, yeah man. <laughs> Oh, man, I remember that shit, man. We clown, man. We laughed so fucking hard, man. That was a clown ass dude, man. <laughs> but guess what? He was yeah, one of the, he was one of the top he was one of the top world champions, man. And that man could rock and roll too. Yeah, he could. So that's what I'm talking about. You know, those old mm -hmm. veterans that you come back to fight and you supposed to beat you supposed to beat them. They're not really supposed to beat you. You supposed to beat them, but it can happen. Exactly. 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 Man, let me tell y'all, man, we got the champ in the house, man. Come on, show the love. Hit the hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, put the comments that you want to ask the question to the champ, man. He ain't going to be in here all day, so you better put him in here now. You know what I mean? Uh, Monica got a good question, though. Man. Oh, that's a good one. Which of, yeah, which of those bosses you lost to would uh, you like to have a rematch with? Um, I would probably like to have a, a rematch with Costa Zoo um, at a different weight. 
Okay. At, at 147 mm -hmm. and probably four years earlier. At 47. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I'd, have, I'd have loved to have uh, my second law. Oh, definitely. I'd have, I'd have loved to have that fight back because he, he became a world champion, but he couldn't beat me on my, on my worst day, for real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, I really felt um, like that too. And I would probably have to say, probably, I would have, I would have liked to, I would have probably liked to fight Floyd in my, in my, in my earlier years. Mm -hmm. See, it's a different, it's a, it's a different era in my in our earlier years. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was. You, you know what I'm lie. saying? So I always, I always say that Floyd came in a great era. Because in mm -hmm. his era, nobody was better than him in his era. But if you came in the same era as, as us, then it was a whole lot of monsters in that era with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You know? Man, Costa Zoo yeah. had that, so, man. Costa Zoo was tough. He so, was tough. So you, you just think about it. Costa Zoo gets knocked. When I say knocked, silly knocked, slammed the fuck out by, by Vince Phillips. Right, mm -hmm. I box six Vince Phillips lights out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know Styles may fight at times, nice. and yeah. like I said again, I was so drained when I fought Kazuzu the first time and the second time. It, it, you know, it was it wasn't even funny. <laughs> yeah, I got you, man. Big Mel in the house. You say, you know, if any of your fights did you ever had the moment in the ring that you said to yourself. He may be better than me. Um, probably not, because I, I I had an ego to myself like I was the best. So you know, nah. He said that's I, I would probably <laughs> never say that. Now, probably too tall or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ain't nobody saying that. He said, "What, Mister Man? Said, What's your thoughts on your former um, trainer, Adrian Davis?" Oh, Adrian was the best. Listen to me, man. If it was not for Adrian, um, I, I wouldn't be who I who I am. If I, if it wasn't I, if it wasn't for Adrian and Marvin Sims, man, listen, man, it's no it's no way I would have got to where I where I got to. Um, it's no way I would be who I am today, you know. Mm -hmm. As I, I probably wouldn't have, you know, been a world champion. I, I don't know what I would have done, probably. Yeah, you know. So I give all my hats off to him, man. He, he did everything for me. Got you. Go ahead, Lou. Yeah. Um. When you fought Floyd, I think it was. I forget what year it was. Did you think that Floyd was gonna be what he is now? Because you fought Floyd. That was his Floyd first fight at 147 if i'm not mistaken um right did you feel like he was going to be what he is today um i always thought floyd would be a, a is always was a great fighter because mm -hmm. i mean you know when that man was born he had boxing gloves on you know what i'm saying when when you got when you have somebody behind you that a uh, roger Lennon, i mean a uh, roger and and and, and his and his dad also come on man like mm -hmm. you know come on man Rock, then Raj was the beat like you talking about a beast <laughs> yes his, his uncle was the beast like the beast for yeah. real <laughs> yeah they used to call when when you get when you get called the black mamba yes. yeah you'll be <laughs> <laughs> yeah they don't just pass that name out <laughs> at my point exactly so when you when you grow up with those you kind of people in your life and you you don't know nothing else there's nothing else that you know how to do but this right here you bound to be something if you don't then you just waste it mm -hmm. exactly, and i take man. my hat off to him look listen i take my hat off to him man because he done great things he brought a lot to the to the game and he's still doing a lot for the game also you know this man could, could he retire and Going to fight YouTubers for fucking couple of million dollars, man. Who does that? <laughs> Twenty. How about that? Twenty million. 
Yes. yes. You know what I'm man. saying? So absolutely. Exactly. Monica say, man, you was a beast. 57 wins, 30 knockouts, six respectable. Salute to the king. Man, let me tell you, these women know more about boxing than some of these guys up in there, man. Yes, yes. <laughs> we get more information from the women in the chat than guys. Trust me. It's sad, okay. huh? <laughs> <laughs> they hey, not playing. I, I, I ask everybody that comes up in here, man. I mean, every boxer we done had in here, man, I ask them this question. What makes a boxer great? Uh, his heart, um, his dedication to the sport, um, smartness, um, how to maintain and 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 and, and do what they're supposed to do. You know, it the the game ain't it. It really isn't hard. It's just, you know, I tell kids, you know, put your hundred and fifty percent into it. And um I, and it, and as long as you think that you're great and you do it, you can do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha, yeah, man. Mr. Man, I really... got something you want to read, Mr. Man comment. Yeah, he says Shambay was one of the shoppers around the city. Him and Mark two shop Johnson. He said, No debate. <laughs> no debate. They had them hands, brother. Trust me. Light skinned dude, dark skinned dude had them hands. They was not playing. <laughs> hey man, look. I don't care what nobody said. Uh-huh. Mark wasn't bet was not a better South Paul than me. Keith Holmes was not a better southpaw than me. That's okay? right. Clear it up, I was the, Listen, I was the best southpaw out of D.C. Hands down, point blank. Then I'll say Mark. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I hey, know that's right. Like, it's not like we need to get them all on the show, Lou. Yes, it let's does. Do <laughs> yes, it did. Nah, hey, hey, man, look. Hey, the, one, thing, one thing about us. As world champions, though, we was the shot. We had the we had the baddest southpaws in 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 the whole world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Slickest southpaws I've seen, man, in a long time. I'm telling you, you understand man. to be Absolutely. slick and be southpaw. That's dangerous. Yeah, exactly. and and Mark and Mark was the smallest one out, and and man, Mark could do his. You know, Mark could do his thing, man. That yeah, was my exactly. man. He could do his thing. <laughs> yeah, I see you got a lot. But of I'm gonna tell you though. something. But I'm gonna tell you something, Keith. Woo! That was the hardest hitting man. Listen, I didn't even like to spar with him. I'm not sparring you, dog. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hey, oh, champ. That, that, Let's that, see. You got K44. What's up, Kwame? He say, "What's up, champ? Who was your toughest competition locally?" Locally? Yeah. yeah. <sighs> well. Locally, locally, as an amateur, or as a pro. If I come as a pro, as a pro, I probably say Reggie Green. You know, Reggie and I wasn't friends, but we was cool, right? And we, mm-hmm. we, you know, when I'm in the gym, you, I, I get beat up in the gym, but you know, when it comes to light, camera, action, and it's time for business. I take care of business. I'm a to- I'm a total different person when it comes mm-hmm. to you know when the lights come on. But mm-hmm. Reggie Green, he held his own in there, and you know he he fought the shit out of me, man. No bullshit. <laughs> and I take my hat off to Reggie. Was well, you ever close to fighting Ricky Hatton? Ricky Hatton? Yeah. 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 Actually. Um, when I fought, because they, they, they invited me to come to uh, Manchester. That's when I fought in Manchester. I defended my my um, title against a dude from Delaware in, Man- in Manchester, Man- Man- uh, Manchester. And um, mm-hmm. I knocked the dude out. After the fight, we all had a meeting. And then he didn't want to fight me after that. <laughs> so, and then after I lost to Zoo the second time, and I went to move up. They offered me a couple of million to stay at 140 and go back over there to fight him then. And I turned it down. Oh, okay. 
See, we learn something new every day, Lou. Every Got day. That's why I get here. my pen, man. I'm writing this shit down, man. <laughs> right you get man. boxing royalty I, on the I show. I just couldn't. I just couldn't make that weight. At 140, I, I just want to go, go back to 140. I just couldn't make that weight. So it wasn't no amount of money was going to make me go over there and, you know, kill myself. Right. But now <laughs> yeah, that we got you on here, maybe you can clear this up, man. In 2000, man, I think it was four fighters, uh, Zab Judah, Costa Zoo, Randall Bailey, and yourself. Um, was that supposed to be like some type of tournament or something? Because I know you fought Costa Zoo, Costa Zoo fought Zab. <laughs> Was that like unfinished business? No, actually, it was a um. The, so Ring Magazine had that put on a um on the front of the page because we were the baddest in the division at the time. Okay. Like we was the top ones in the division, and one, and we was the ones that people wanted needed to fight to make see if they were something, and um, it wasn't no promotion or anything, but. I always looked to try to fight that. I thought that I knew that me and Zach would make a great fight, and I knew we could make a lot of money with the fight because it was just that New York and D.C. rivalry kind of thing, right? And, you know, at the time, um, I don't think that, like, if we, were to do, if we would do it now, it would probably be much different because <clears throat> Zach has grown up a lot and you know develop more and um he'll he'll understand what i was trying to do i wasn't trying to call no business punks and stuff like that because i dislike them it's it's about getting the business making it interesting for people to watch us and make a lot of noise so we can make some real money when we do fight each other if we're gonna beat each other up let's beat each other up some money that beat each other up for some bullshit. <laughs> That's right. I, I like I like that. That makes sense though, man. He probably right, didn't understand right, that. Right. Yeah, he probably right. didn't understand it at the time, man. So I'm gonna fast forward my, my a little bit, is that. man. Yeah, right. I'm gonna fast forward to the days of now, man. Who do you watch at, at nowadays, uh, Sean Bay, and say, "Damn, he reminds me a little bit of so." Oh, I like him. Who stands out to you? I, I'll be honest with you. None of except Tank and um, Tank and Earl Spence. I love me some Earl Spence, man. Okay. And Tank, my man, though. So Tank, Tank, Tank is my man. Tank, Tank is like that. You know, um, he watched a lot of my fights. You know, when I was coming up, as he was growing up, you know, a lot. And he he has a style sort of like me. Um, so you know, and I enjoy. Like I told him. When he fought that, I said, dog, I don't come to fight or anything like that. I came because it was just you. So he appreciated that. You know what I'm saying? But um, I don't really watch the fights like that, but I love me some Earl Spence, man. I think that Earl Spence right now is one of the better fighters that are fighting like like we used to back in the day. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I, 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 I agree with say, that. Yeah, go ahead, big fella. No, nah, I'm about to say I agree with that, man, because <laughs> – Hey man, they they be wrecking, man. But right now, who do you like watching as a fighter? Who you like watching, man? Earl Spence, that's it. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what it? I just asked him. Yep, that's what I asked yeah, him. I said, who who, who yeah. do it for him? He said, Tank uh, and Earl, Earl Spence. Spence and Tank. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Right. So I got to put him on the spot, then, Lewis. Spence or Crawford? Who wins? Come on, man, stop playing. <laughs> So Spence, Spence, Spence wins that fight all day. Okay, but well, that's gonna be a lot of talk in the chat for the next couple of days. I think I think he the I think he the best out there, man. To be honest with you. Okay, okay, I can I can roll with that. I, I'm also right. think that Crawford has the advantage now, but that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because yeah. he because he did a little he did a little bit in this fight the last time. Tell him, tell but who he fight? But 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 who did he fight? Well, for me. I agree with what you're saying about Spence. I'm just saying I want to see him come back from the accident. No, ho, ho, time up, time up. You didn't, you didn't answer the question. You didn't answer the question. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Who did, who did Crawford fight the last fight? Sean Porter. My point exactly. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I, I, I'm all my like, point I exactly. Sean Porter. Okay, and look, Sean. Look, 
Sean Porter wouldn't have been able to tie our shoes in our in our day. <laughs> Hey, I'm with you on that, champ. I'm with but, you on that. Uh, am, I, am I right? No, am I'm I right? You, I'm with you. Hey, you I said, am I man, right? I mess with them back then, yeah. man. It's no way, man. I and I say that all the time. I hate, I hate to say it, but I say it all the time because these guys try to put these dudes on this big pedestal, and he, they ain't like that, man. Hey, I hear you. I believe you. Uh, Big Mel hey, said, "Now nah, go ahead, go ahead." Big Mel said, uh, uh, "He already answered this though, kind of. Would would you rank yourself in the DMV fighters, pound for pound? Pound for we only had a couple of like <clears throat> you got to put myself, Mark, Mark, Joppy, and Keith up there. You know." Um, up there with them because we fought those top guys mm -hmm. you know those ones that they want to say that's pound for pound you know what i'm saying so yeah mm -hmm. i got you i got you uh mark they well who did khalid Rahulu? a tough fight for you yeah well it was and it wasn't i was so excited and so determined to go over to paris and win a title um and I actually, I caught, I actually, when, when he ended up beating Frankie Randall, I actually called Don King on the phone and told him, man, I want to fight that dude. He said, Sean, but are you serious? Like, I said, man, look, if you don't get me that fight, I'm gone. He got me that fight. That's what I'm talking about, man. We need to Little video that, this man. and put this out in the boxing world. You heard this man say it. He said, uh, and all that calling each other out, I'm going to the top. I'm going to the guy who's going to push the button to make this shit happen. And he said, ha make it happen, or there's a guy around the street that'll pick up my contract tomorrow. I like that, man. That needs exactly. to be done in boxing. They always talk about Don real. King. That's like Don man. King said, I made them fights, baby. And he Wait. did. And, I, and you can't take nothing away from Don. He he gives contract to everybody. It's it's up to your people to to make sure that contract right. If the contract ain't right, then you don't sign it. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> when it was time for guess what? When it was time for me to get out, guess what I did? Got out. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Bob through said, having faced both Costa Zoo and Floyd, how do you think they um it would have went if they would have fought? I think Floyd could still out. Box Carson Zoo. Carson Zoo wasn't. He he was one of those kind of come forward kind of guys. Floyd still was too slippery for a lot of those guys, but mm -hmm. um, it would have been tougher than people think. And then he always had a puncher's chance. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. That that's good. Idea. Yeah, J A up in the house, man. Say what's going on, champ, man. What's um, up, J A? Hey, who was your Who was your biggest inspiration? In boxing, who's your biggest inspiration? Period. Um, I watched a, a lot of Ali, a, a lot of Ray Leonard, man. Um, and to be honest with you, Marvin Hagler, because he was a southpaw. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was a southpaw. He was a different kind of southpaw, but he still was a southpaw. So you know, mm -hmm. um, I, I fucked with him, big time. <laughs> and it's weird <laughs> hey, because. Look. I, because I, 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 I like them. And, um, you know, Ray, my man, Ray mm -hmm. is my ace boom, right? But I've always been a Hagler fan. And, man, me and Hagler sat next to each other at the at the dinner. Man, this man talked me to death. <laughs> Yo, he, listen to me. He don't, he, don't, he don't stop talking. I can tell you that. I would he never was the, guess that. He was the, he was the coolest dude, but he does not stop talking, man. That man talked my ears off. Man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's good. Hey, look, I knew this was coming, Luke. Mr. Man now, champ. Mr. Man is the turns call for fan. Love him, him KG44. He say, are you being biased because they are both soft paws? Uh-oh. No, I, I think that I think that I think that Crawford. Listen, I think that Crawford has a, a hell of a style too. I think he can box really good. Also, mm -hmm. I just I just like Earl like 
Earl Smith just shot like he's an old version of the young people now. That's all. Okay. Okay. Well, my question, man, paving the way. You got fighters that's coming out of the DMV, like my younger brothers, the Peterson brothers, the Fox brothers. You got the uh, Russell family. All these guys, you look back sometimes and say, damn, I paved the way for a lot of the up-and-coming D.C. fighters, the homegrown coming out of the D.C. area. But absolutely, but you, like I said again, D- D.C. don't recognize any of that kind of stuff for it, that's it's why crazy, I asked him man. the question. That's, mm-hmm. that, that's, that's why I asked that question. <laughs> yeah. It's man, sickening, man. It's crazy. You know, it, it's they don't reckon they don't recognize any of that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, you think they talk about any of that stuff? Listen, man, I was the first one to bring Showtime back to DC. Hmm. You gotta remember, I was the first one to bring a championship fight back to DC in a brand new arena, the yes. MCI Center. Do you mm-hmm. think that Sean Bay got a picture of myself in the MCI Center anyway? That's cold, man. That's cold. Dang, I dang, was the dang. first one. Listen, listen. I was the first one. Listen to me. The first one. The first one to bring boxing to Constitution Hall. Constitution Hall? <laughs> yeah. Me. I, I was the first one. Showtime boxing. I was the first one to bring it back to 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 DC, man. That you you don't hear anything about that. You don't, you don't DC don't they don't talk about that. Yeah, that's man, right. That's on everybody, we're gonna, we gonna talk. Big that's time, right. Lou. We gonna talk. We gonna give you the fact. We gonna put out an APB on all this shit because I feel like when I get a DC fighter on the show, man, I love it because I it was first of all it's homegrown. And it was right here in our backyard. We respect the journeys that all you guys had to do. Joppy, uh, Cody, Starchild, Andrew Council, Mark Johnson, Keith Holmes, right. and list of other names I might have forgot. You guys put in work, man, and we got to start pushing for that shit. Start respecting your own, man. We got Sean Bay Mitchell it, in here, man, and he was the first but it's guy weird. Like Guess what? Center. Let, let, some, let somebody come from out of town. From my, they're, they're getting all the praise in the world. You you praise your own, you you praise your own first. Yeah. The ones that set the path so they can even come in there. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, man. Uh, Miss my Miss Sexy say, who was tougher, Paul Williams or Costa Zoo? Paul Williams was tough because he was tall. I had to jump up in the air to hit him. <laughs> you know. <so. laughs> yeah, I remember that fight. <laughs> Yeah, so he he was just tall. That's all. But probably Paul Wood because it was a, it was a difficult task because, um, like I said, I had to figure out how to fight this dude. Yeah, Paul Wood about six two, right? Yeah, six one, six two. Hey, listen, man, I I wasn't even at his chest. I don't think <laughs> that was like drag on Rocky, man. Man, exactly. Man, I'll tell you, the exactly. fighters in the past, man, these fighters, man, this shit is pathetic, man. M. Peterson in the house, a homegrown out of D.C., the champ in the building. Must respect to one of my favorite fighters, baby. Yeah, hey, Sean Bay, that's my older brother, Mike. And when you fought, he tell these bros, look, you got to go home. You got to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go. Sean Bay fight. I, I will vouch for that. <laughs> uh, Lorenzo, what's up, man? Welcome to the um, channel, man. He say you were beating Costas Zouay easy until you hurt your leg. Yeah, that that was a tough one there, man. It it was actually like the week of the fight, and I mm. I was you know I got hurt, and I was like, man, well, I don't know, I didn't even know what was going on, and um, I went to the doctor. They was like, man, this thing is so gone, son. I was like, man. what? <laughs> Damn. You 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 shouldn't be fighting. So they was like, um, I don't even know how you fought or what you did, you know. I, so but I just pushed through it, man. It is what it is. That's what I don't warriors no do, man. Thing, man. That's what warriors do, baby. We need to get that exactly. done in the early day, man. Exactly. Yeah, I, uh, they no wanna excuse. know 
what do you think about um what's your opinion on um chop chop Corley? man look chop chop doing some good things man um mm -hmm. you know for him being the age that he is and still fighting and stuff like that it, it, it actually looked good man to be honest he, with you he did. and the mm -hmm. funny part is that he had tricked some of these little young dudes trick them right into a trick bag and beat them <laughs> and and that's what you you know what i'm saying you want to stay away from people like him dangerous da dangerous you ain't lying about that one right there I watched his last fight man he, he looked that's my boy man we grew up in work together yeah he he, he shop is a mug man still shop yeah, still one of the ones still hanging in there. J.A. say, what are your thoughts on Emmanuel Augusta and Hagler and is my all-time favorite? Woo. Emmanuel Augusta? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hagler, all... <laughs> Hagler always my man, though. You know, yeah. I ain't a Emmanuel Augusta kind of dude, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they tripping now. They say, who won the fight, really? Hagler or Hearns? <laughs> I mean, Hagler or Ray? <laughs> uh, uh, you know it was coming. Uh, you know it was coming. <laughs> man. <laughs> like that. Uh -oh. you, who, who hand got raised? <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's what I tell him. Look, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what he do, man. So, question, uh, Sean Bay. Um, when did you know you arrived, man? Whether it was the amateurs, pro, and you know, every time you like, okay, this is where this is the fight where I knew. God damn it, I'm going to the next level. When did that take? Do you remember when that took place? You know what? It's funny. I don't. I don't really know. I just knew that I didn't want to, as an amateur, I knew I just didn't want to stay an amateur anymore. Okay. I, I, just, I just didn't have it in me anymore. Mm. Um, I had so many fights. Man, I had like 170 something or 160 something amateur fights. Mm -hmm. And I only lost, I only lost uh, seven of them. But man, you don't like. I wasn't staying in the, the amateurs just to stay there. You know, like, that's yeah. just crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, you become punch drunk. You become like, um, you, you, you had Tony. a lot of guys that were, huh? Yeah. James well, you Tony. have a lot of guys that, you have a lot of guys that stay amateurs for too long, mm -hmm. too long of their life. So, um, I just, I just didn't want to be one of those. Got you, man. If Got it you. get a little dark, I'm just walking outside, man. Got you, man. <laughs> good. Hey, Bob the Thulin say, DC truly is a breeding ground for champions. I never realized until I started watching the Robotta Entertainment just how many, you know, fighters we have here, man. There's a lot of them here, UK, man. That's a lot right. of them here. Uh oh. They coming for you now, champ. You talk uh -oh. about Bud uh -oh. Crawford, man. Don't talk about Bud Crawford on this channel. <laughs> Who <laughs> <laughs> bud? They, they yeah. love bud. How you look? <laughs> hey man, look. But I'm, I'm look. I like bud. I like him too, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, but he's not. He's not an Earl Spence to me. Mm -hmm. That's all. And, you know, I, I like Earl. Man, listen. I love me some Earl Spence. Man, Earl Spence is a boxing. Yo, Crawford could do his thing too. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. take my hat off. I'll take my hat off to him. He can do his thing too. It's gonna be that's gonna be a hell of a fight. Yeah, can't wait if they fight. Yeah, can't wait. If it ever happens, I can't wait, man. It gotta uh, they have to, man. That's almost like a um that's almost like a haggle or her. Exactly. Exactly. That's how I look that, at it it's, anyway. It's it's almost just like that, man. And it'll be a shame if they don't. Yep, exactly, exactly. You got like boxing ain't boxing ain't like it used to be, man. And, and and that's the sad part. Okay, so let me ask exactly. you this: If I gave you a magic wand, Sean Bay, and I said, you know what, you could fix three things in boxing by just tapping on it, what would be your three things? Politics in it, 
um, probably giving the right people the right money with boxing. Um, Oh, really? I mean, it's, it's hard to get a third one because I can live with those two. This, this this boxing shit is so it's, it's so tricky. It's tricky, man. Yeah, it is. I can it, live with it, those it, two, it, champ. It, those are two things that need exactly. to be shipped up, man. The fight, the best fight, it's, the it's, best. It's so yeah, it's so it's so tricky, man. Um, it, it it's this is tricky, tricky, man. Yeah, it's tricky. Your bro- oh. your brothers, man, like your brothers, they were my man, and 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 and, and Lamont always did his thing, right? But did Anthony never like? I was always like, man, why he don't why he don't get his shot? Like what? Like what the heck is going on? It's a mysterious and question. All, man. Always sad about that, man. I thought it was so good. Like he like one of the best to me. Yeah. Yeah. Trust exactly. me, I watched it, uh, Sean Bay. I watched it since they was nine years old, man. Yeah, so it, I mean, I, you know, I, I I loved to have them when I was in training camp together because, you know, it just showed them a way or where they could go and where they could do. And they he, they just kind of took off with it. Mm-hmm. Exactly, I man. remember when they used to come back and they used to talk about, man, we was down with Sean Bay. We was down with Sean Bay. Set their whole life in a different direction, man. Oh man, that's sweet. Look, Jay A say, uh, Jay, this never happened. He said, Would the champ do an exhibition fight right back like Chavez Senior? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you know what's funny? After after Floyd doing these, I was like, man, I'm in shape, and I'll be sparring with the little guys in the gym sometime too now, right? So mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? I might really get in some real shape and do me an exhibition. But I already know me. I'm too competitive. I'm going to want another shot at one of those belts. Because these <laughs> jokers can't fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you that. You know what I'm saying? I will give like, you that. It don't make any sense, man. Like, it, it man. really don't. It doesn't make any sense. Like, 154, 150. Like, those jokers is... Uh, it just, it saddens me sometimes, man. I see that. All that money, and they ain't up there doing no skill, just up there bullshitting. Yeah, so we had dudes from here dre- got the you got the you got the red skin marching band bring you out, and you get your ass kicked at home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he talking about your boy, Lou. What's the man? Joe Hurt. <laughs> oh yeah. At, so <laughs> at home, yeah. At I home, got it. Gotta Listen to me. <laughs> At home. Yeah, that's a, that's a different element right there. So oh. you you let you let a dude come to your house and take your woman out. That what you did? <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. Are you serious? Yeah, that's some crazy oh, man. shit, man. Now that you're, I'm back down memory lane with that shit, damn. They come out with the red skin, man. That's no funny shit. <laughs> Come on, the red skin band and get and get your ass beat. Come on, you don't you don't do that, dog. Listen, I didn't care. I always said, man, I don't care. This my town, and nobody beat me in my town. I don't give a fuck if you from here. You're not beating me in my town. Ain't happening. I can't. I'm not losing at home. Mm-hmm. I, I feel you, dog. I'm on the same path, man. You, you, you got you bring all that shit out. You better guarantee that motherfucking victory because that shit looks even worse. It ain't just a loss; it's a royal loss. You just people gonna always remember, like we talking about it now. People remember that shit, man. Exactly. Yeah. Hey, champ. PD, what you think about this shit in Boston, man? What we gonna do? What we gotta do to get rid of it, <laughs> man? <laughs> You ain't gonna never get rid of bo- bo- boxing too big. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You roll with the you roll with the punches and keep on going, man. Damn, you don't think more testing than nothing gonna help it, huh? Man, it, it is what it is, man. This shit been happening too long. I it, it been happening longer than my ass been living, so I know. 
You know, it's still going. <laughs> I'm only 51, so shit. I, I know it's been longer than nine. My ass been alive. <laughs> exactly, man. Come on now. We only had chat for a few more minutes, man. Y'all got some questions? Put them in, here, champ. You see, it's nighttime here, champ. You know, here in D, here, we're well, here in Baltimore. Well, that's just worse. So y'all make them all brave. You know, for questions that's up right. in here. That's right. Let the champ go, man. That's right. Exactly. Uh, Ray John Johnson say, "Hey, fellas, questions are exhibition fights becoming a new wave, or will it just stay an overpaid entertainment scenario?" Uh, overpaid well, the funny part is that the the funny part is that everybody watching it, so it must be something, right? These you mm -hmm. these YouTubers are like, come on, man, you got pro making millions of dollars to fucking fight somebody. Who is like you like YouTubers? Come on, man, ideas or who got the most likes and what the hell? <laughs> That's why I love getting these guys on the man, show, man. Man, I, and we, I just, I just try to figure out, like, back in the day, if, if, if we had this kind of technology back when we were fighting, like, I wonder what it would be. Like, our life, I thought my life wasn't, my, shit, my life was so public back then, mm -hmm. in our way, that right now, too, my gracious. Man, I couldn't. I probably couldn't even eat a eat a hamburger in peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it, now man, it's crazy. And Eric, you just came in here. He said, "Who did you watch growing up, champ? Uh, what fighter did you enjoy watching?" I know who he's gonna say. Yeah, Ali and Ray. Exactly. Ali, <laughs> Ray, and her. That's it. That's a good combination, right there, champ. A hell of a combination. Yeah. Yeah. Are you motivated more going into a champion fi championship fight or a title fight or just all the same? Man, you got to – well, a championship fight is always that motivational factor, but you better be way, way, way motivated to keep that motherfucker belt because everybody coming after it. Mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. It's harder to keep your belt than to get it. Mm-hmm. No, man. Because you got to understand, people, people who, who don't have nothing to lose. You know, people fight you, they don't have nothing to lose. What they have to lose? Mm -hmm. they, they coming for your title. That's your title. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, man, Lou, you got any more left for champ, man? Nah, I don't have no more questions, but I'm going to give my, my man his flowers right here, man. One of the best That's DC's actually, finest, actually. man, Tacoma Park finest. And whenever we get a chance to talk to Mayor Bowser, we got to straighten this shit out, man. <laughs> for real, because I don't like man, this it, shit, it, man. It's you can't work, dog. It's it's sad, cause she went to school. She went to school with my cousin, right? Mm -hmm. So she, she went to school with my cousin, too. I know her. She know me. You know what I'm saying? But listen... Mm -hmm. I'm not. I don't. I don't understand the 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 DC Boston Commission. None. The, I, all the people you got in the boxing, the 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 DC Boxing Hall of Fame, and mm -hmm. I'm not in. It? Come on, man. That's crazy. But it's that's cool. Okay. Yeah. We gonna, hey, look, guess what, Sean? We got your back, Chant, on the rebuttal entertainment. We don't take no shit. We're going to hit the streets, and we're going to get you a statue, man. We're going to push for DC Box, because this shit ain't right, man. We watched you from 1986 to 2006 put in fucking work. No ducking, no politics, no nothing. You fought who was in front of you. You didn't give a fuck what it was. It was like, we fighting. That's it. Make the fight. So we Absolutely. need to make that shit happen more in boxing. But damn that shit, big fella. We're gonna get the wheels going, man. Because we had Daryl <laughs> Coley on the show, man. And he said the same thing you said, Sean yeah, Bay. Exactly. But well, we're gonna push yeah. this shit, man. We're gonna put the we're gonna put the wheels on the street, dog, because the shit ain't cool, man. It ain't cool. You're gotcha. one of the best fighters to come out of the city, man. So that's my flowers to you, man. We appreciate you for stopping in, man. Take your time to kick it with us. And uh whenever you want to come back on, get something off your chest, come on back and kick it with Let us. Let me man. get the last question there. Thanks man, a lot, man. Eric, man. Got one more question, Chad, from Eric. He said, Chad, what can what can uh, fighters do now to get the big fights when the guys at the top are ducking? How would you get a Canelo fight if you fought in this era? Call them out. Go get them. Listen, man. 
it, it's all about the money. Make a lot of noise because it's right right now for these dudes, it's all about the money. Get a bunch of likes, and maybe you can get the fuck. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, I like that shit, man. They, they not built. They not built like the old days, champ. They ain't built like nah, that, not, man. Not at all. Not at all. Yeah, man. Yeah, man, but man, I tell y'all what, man, we thank Sean Bay Milton, two time former champ DC. We're gonna get him in shit because I'm gonna call, I'm gonna fuck with Mayor Bowser every day on this channel. We're we'll, we'll <laughs> enough of this, bullshit, man. But champ, you, you ain't on no uh, social media anything, the telefans, just I, just IG and stuff like that. That's it, just IG. Okay. IG, Sean All right. Um, it's it's uh, Sean Bay underscore. It's my uh, it's my lounge buckets lounge, um, something like that. I think it is. I can't remember that shit. <laughs> and my <laughs> Facebook page, I got, I got a uh, you know chance chance page. That's it on my on on Facebook. Okay. Okay. Thanks, champ, man. We really appreciate you. Coming All right, in, man. man. Thanks All a right, lot, champ. man. All right, All right. Man. All right, man. <laughs> yeah, man. We got champ in the. Down. He was in the light. Y'all came in early, man. Man, I'll tell you, he clowned the old these dudes now, Lou. He clowned them, and they don't yeah. fight nobody. But you they know don't what? fight, Lou. That shit was needed. We needed that shit because that's why I like getting these old school fighters on the show, man. Who's been in the trenches with, with, with marquee fighters, man? This guy seven losses with seven championship fighters, five fighters, six fights, and mm -hmm. we need to hear that shit, man. Y'all, we need to hear. So maybe that'll be a way to change uh, the way boxing is going. There, everybody's scared to lose their O and ducking and hiding and shit. Nah, you heard what that? You heard what Sean Bay said, nigga. Don King, I want to fight him. Make it happen, or I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta exactly. move. That's what he said. That's what he said. Exactly. And and he basically said these dudes come to them now soft, man. They soft, man. <laughs> that, that's a fucked up shit, man. You know right. what I mean? But that's how all of them feel. You know what I mean? Look at the shit we going through now. Canelo keep going up, picking these motherfucking fighters. You know, don't nobody want to see him fight. You know what I mean? I, I ain't say that Charlo or Ben and B there and anybody can beat him. I just want to see him fight some damn body. You know What's what I mean? They're going to hit him. Somebody going to punch him in the face. You know what I mean? Then you do duck, man. He's what he call that, Lou? <laughs> Hey, oh, look, man. I love this shit, man. You can't make this shit up, man. That's why it's always good to get the homegrown, the the the, the back-in-the-day fighters, because they just didn't do that shit. They ain't give a fuck. This man lost two fights in a row, his first two losses, and then he went on a 19-fight winning streak. 80% knockouts. Mm -hmm. Fortitude, yeah. man. They just don't have that, that shit no more, man. Kevin Shin, you, I mean, Kevin E, you did too. Oh, man, you missed a good one, Chan. Oh, man, you missed man. another good one, Kevin. Oh, he talked He talked bad about the new school, man. Say so he would say, basically, them niggas weak. <laughs> That's what he said. Right. They couldn't, they couldn't, they can't land back into the Sugar Ray Leonard, the, the Hearns, the Hag. Matter of fact, the DC, Mark Johnson, Sean Bay, Mitch, Durham, Corley, Keith Holmes, Earl, man. Come on, man. Right. I mean, this shit was crazy, man. And it just, I just love it because he put it in perspective, Luke. He did. You know I mean? He did. All the shit we talk about, we don't have, we don't need nobody to co-sign the truth. But he just so happened to be here and co-signed it. That's what it <laughs> is, man. <laughs> Eric said, but Butler, you didn't ask him about Keith Thurman, did you? I hope not. Nah, not today, champ. Nah, yeah. we have other things. Nah, uh We going to ask Keith Thurman about Keith Thurman. How about that? Yeah, yeah. when he come up on this motherfucker. How I'm going to do all that? that same energy when he come on this motherfucker. You know, we're going to see if you have all that same energy there. Great show. Legendary. Thanks, Future, man. Yeah, man. I mean, he just basically said everything that we always said, man. You know what I mean? These new school dudes, everybody keep wasting the ball, saying the bad he, but man, these dudes couldn't hold them dudes back in the days. Doc Strauss, man, I'm telling you. You know Great. what I mean? Name a fighter at 54 right now or 60 or 68 right now can beat Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, Roy Jones, and them. Name them. Name one motherfucking fighter. I dare anybody to name them. They can't. They can't. Come on. I'm waiting. The lines yeah. are open. The phone yeah. lines are open. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Y'all want to call in? I'll put the motherfucking <laughs> number up, God damn it. Shit. Oh shit! Name a yeah, fighter man. in the smaller weight classes, Lou. That could be um 
Uh, Mark, Mark two shot Bob Johnson and shit like that, man. You know what I mean? Come on, man. The only guy I think probably would give him some goal is uh, Gary Russell. You know what I mean? Wack- same man, kind of style. It's, just, it's just a new breed, man. Them dudes back there, they wasn't scared. They came to fight, man. They ain't take no bullshit off nobody, man. You know, Sean Bay was just telling the truth, man. You know, these dudes just not built. To, that's exactly what he said. He said they, they are not, not built, built the same, the same yeah. as we were. You know what I mean? All in a nutshell. And one thing for footnote, man, Mark Two Sharp Johnson and Sean Bay Mitchell was 16 years old on the 88 Olympic trial team, dog. That says enough. At age 16, man. Yeah. You understand? That's like, that's the best of the best at that age, man. You just don't get no better than that. Exactly, man. And I don't know why. And I said, Mama Lou, I just mentioned that shit. I, I just mm-hmm. mentioned it to you. I said, why DC fighters don't get enough pub, man? Yeah. When, well, even when Darryl was going here. Exactly. We talked about that after the Daryl interview. We talked about it before, but after the interview, we talked about it the next day for like an hour, man, because it has to happen, man. These dudes was warriors, was gladiators, man. And to not have their name... uh being recognized in certain atmospheres of the boxing, it ain't cool, dog. So whatever exactly. gotta get be done, man. We gotta we gotta push for that shit, man. For exactly, real. man. Y'all just getting in here. Y'all missed the champ, but don't miss that like button. Hit the like button, man. That's tell a right. friend, tell a friend. It helped the visibility of the show, man. The champ, you know what I mean? Um, Sean May Mitchell was in here, and he basically said these fighters are soft. They not built tough like we was. You know what I mean? They get a hangnail and want to pull out the fight. <laughs> That's right. He so, up on fight. He say, hey, look, what he say? They fight no bad legs. And he didn't even know his leg was bad when he fought Costa. Yes. Too, man. You know yes. what I mean? That shit, man. That shit, man. That's why I love having these old school fighters on here, man. <laughs> y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till next week. God <laughs> damn. Oh, man, we got some shit for y'all, boy. Yeah, um, next week, we're going we gonna to cook y'all up something real sexy. Now, we ain't going to tell y'all yet. We're just going to blow. We're going we gonna to just, you know, gradually breeze it on y'all. The next exactly. week uh, interview, oh, it's going to be off the fucking chain. I'm y'all just going to have to sit back and tune in. <laughs> they sure is. Kevin, he said they probably couldn't beat those great fighters, sparring partners. <laughs> right. Facts, Kevin. Exactly. Monica said, me too. <laughs> oh, man. Manny Pacquiao, yeah. Manny Pacquiao can't beat no motherfucking body. He was on drugs. Wheels <laughs> of Steel. Uh-huh. Mark will fuck Gary up, Light Skin Luke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tried to throw his name in there, Mr. Man. You ain't got to yeah, call I me out on a, two, on a Wednesday, dog. <laughs> you know what, Jamal? I had him in my brain, Simon Brown. I yes, mean, but yeah. Who was that a, yeah, Simon Brown. Who was that? And Maurice Blocker. Maurice Blocker. See, there's a lot of DC fighters, man. You know what I mean? But I you mean, notice I said just a name, a few. few I've yeah. been here all night naming the fucking names. Reggie mm-hmm. Green, all these guys, man. Exactly. Hey, man, Bowser, you better get that shit done. We're going to stop. We're going to cut out there and protest, man. You Use some of that money. You worth $300 million. Come on, put that, use some of your goddamn money. Yeah, that made no I damn just think, day, man. Yeah, man. It, it just, it's just ugly, man. And, he, and for, for a fighter to say he doesn't feel recognized, Two mm-hmm. fighters in the last three or four months on the podcast, Rebuttal yep. Entertainment, said the same shit. Exactly. Two fighters. World champions. Yeah. Showtime. I mean? HBO. Exactly. ESPN. Exactly. Don't make no sense, man. They all say, man, I feel yeah, they, I feel neglected. Right. <laughs> That's what he said. I took punter to entertain. You know, y'all, y'all ain't even doing shit for me. Man, why do say DC don't really get known for anything heavy outside of street life? People have to leave out of uh, town to get back. That was Simon. That was, um, that what he said. Yeah. That's exactly what Sean Bay said. Daryl Tyson. Yep, Daryl Tyson. See, it's like Lou said, he'd been naming the motherfucker for days, man. Hit the like button, y'all don't mind. Come on. Um, Teddy Reed will put a few folks to sleep. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, That's man. right. Y'all responsibility for the next five minutes. If you could think of a DC name fighter that was in his prime doing his thing, Put it up on the on the board, man, because there's some fights we I know it's a lot of fighters we might have forgot, Lewis. We, mm-hmm. we gonna man, we're gonna get the wheels rolling on this shit, dog. I'm taking this personal, man. Okay. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. Cause I, and I like the way he said it, man. Cause you know, these dudes over publicize all these fighters right now, the triple G's and the Lomachenko's and all these motherfuckers. Man, come on, man. 
<laughs> man, these dudes back in the days was knowledgeable, man. They had the technique, the testable fortitude, man. They getting up, they fighting you with torn Achilles, motherfucker. They 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 want to fight these right. dudes now, man. It, it's just crazy, man. And hopefully, um, these we get rid of these YouTubers, we'll be all right, man. Oh, he killed him. He killed Jerry Heard, man. <laughs> He killed Jerry. Yeah, he did. How, he said, how the fuck? He said, that's just like having your somebody show up at your door and take your girl. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> he, he said, just like the fighter that came in, had the red skin marching band, <laughs> marching down in the motherfucking guy's ass. Walk. That's like somebody knocking on your door and taking your girl. Oh, that shit was funny. It did no motherfucker, man. I'll tell you, Andrew Council. Yeah, I, mean, I named, yeah. It, it's crazy. It's crazy, Lou. It's crazy, man. Uh, um, uh, Kevin E. Teddy Reed. That's right. Man, uh, it's crazy. Um, Jop your course. course Trinidad, Trinidad had loaded them gloves. <laughs> so let me tell you about this story, man. When Jop before Trinidad, I knew Joppy was going to get his ass well. But, you know, I'm rooting for the home team. You got to. I'm like, I'm like get him, Joppy. Oh, get him, Joppy. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> You see, Joppy problem was he stayed on the end of that jab of Trinidad, man. Trinidad just oh. used him as like a um like a statue, man. That was I, I hated watching that fight. Man, I was like, oh my God. I knew what the outcome was gonna be, but I'm like, come on, let's do let's get give him a fighting chance, man. Mm -hmm. Ain't give him nothing. J.A. say it is sports and entertainment. These fighters gotta have a personality. Um, two um so motherfuckers have something else to remember. Lots of fans forget fighters um when they um stop fighting. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I was at that fight with Sean Bay at the MCI Center. That I was at that fight. I think they had open scoring, if I'm not mistaken, on that fight. I forgot to ask him about that too. That shit to be in the fight and they announced, remember they was announcing it if you had won that round. So you would have an idea of what you was going into like the last couple of rounds that you had mm -hmm. stepped your shit up. I actually liked it, but I guess exactly. they just did away with it. Exactly. Y'all just getting in here. I see a lot of people just jumped in, man. Y'all just missed a hell of an interview. You know, us DC niggas, y'all don't like us. Some of y'all don't like us, man, but we speak the truth, baby. We don't bite our tongue. And Sean Bay Mitchell did not bite his tongue about these fighters now, man. You know what I mean? That's right. <laughs> and I he love told it. the truth. He told and the guess, truth, but nothing but the truth. Right, and we didn't really have to even ask some questions. He was just coming out with this shit fluently because exactly. this shit is in his mind. He's he's been through it. He worked that walk that journey, man. That shit was cool, man. Hey, look, hey, er, we're gonna bring your man Devin Haney back in the past, man. Let him fight some <laughs> of the fighters in the past. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh Mr. Man said I was at the fight out George Mason. He got his ass whooped. Who, Mr. Man? Who are we talking about? He must be talking about uh, William Joppy. I promise you, Trinidad had loaded gloves. <laughs> I would put it past him. Man, them motherfuckers look loaded the way he was fucking Joppy up. Yeah. He tried to put Joppy through the ring. <laughs> God damn. Oh, man. Um, yeah, Joppy kept his left hand too low, man. Yeah, and the thing about when he was talking about the fight, Lou, I had just watched, remember he said, um, was Roger Mayweather? I had just watched the fight with Roger Mayweather and Pernell Whitaker. Man, they fighting wow. like it's wrecking like a motherfucker, man. You know what I mean? Them back in the days, man. Them, them back in the days, man. That shit was good as shit, man. Everybody talking about Jerry. Oh, you say Jerry Heard. Oh, Jerry Heard. <laughs> man. Uh the the Field brothers were straight and legit. <laughs> what okay. were their first names, Kevin? Um, Miss Sex say everything was good with the champ, but talk. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, it's his opinion look, and he entitled me, to it. Let me let me say this, man. Everybody ain't got a little Burl, Cloth, and Miss Sexy and Monica. I mean, I mean, everybody had that opinion. He loved he loved Earl Spence Jr. Hey, hey. hey, it is what it is. You know what I mean? He loved Earl Spence Jr. So he say Earl whoop his ass. Anthony and Jermaine. Okay, yeah. I remember. Okay, Kevin, thanks for cleaning that up. I remember them. Exactly, man. And like you said, it's a lot of politics out here, man. You know what I mean? Because we got to work on this shit. <laughs> Miss Sexy, they bud. <laughs> we know you love bud, Miss Sexy. We know it. You yeah. Gotta, yeah. Well, we know well it. Since, since you brought up Bud Crawford, he's suing. Um, uh, uh, come on, bud. Let's get this thing straight. <laughs> We've been through too much We've together. Been too much together. <laughs> Let's kind of make some money. He's suing Bob Aaron, Miss Sexy. 
Bud Crawford suing Bob Earn for ten million dollars. Talk, man, he wait too fucking long. So now y'all can see. I'm gonna put y'all in y'all place right now. Y'all can see that it wasn't Earl Spence Jr. ducking Bud Crawford. It wasn't Keith Thurman ducking Bud Crawford. Bob Earn didn't make the fights. Yeah, he didn't make the fights. You know what I mean? That's why when Keith said that they lied, talking about he wanted ten million and shit like that. Bob lowballed him, went back to turn, said he wanted too much money. That's all that shit was, man. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Now y'all know the truth, and I hope y'all can handle the truth. You can say blah, blah, blah. They can't want. handle the truth, dog. Can't they can't handle, handle that shit, man. They can't. Uh, but guess what? I'm glad all this shit is clearing itself up because, like you say, the truth is never far behind. We are seeing that shit fold out before our very eyes. Exactly, man. For our very eyes, man. And if it keep going, Lou, we're gonna see more and more truth comes out about everything, man. You know what I mean? So he he better he better he better have a good Bob the Thud is a great show, as always. But man, we appreciate Thank you, you man, champ. Man. I you appreciate know? it. But you know, we're gonna do it. We we doing this thing every Wednesday, baby. I mean, we got some top flight ones coming up in this motherfucker, Shorty. I'm telling hey, you. All I'm gonna say is y'all better be motherfucking ready with your popcorn because next week, oh, it's gonna be off the chain next week, boy. Exactly. Uh Corey Sanders gave Andrew Galata hell. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah Corey, I remember Corey Sanders. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, man. So now all it he better have bug money. <laughs> They say, Bob, they, boy, I tell you, these women, man. They say, Bob better have Bud money. Man, let me tell you, that shit ain't happening. Want to know why? Because I'm the judge. I'm like, well, if you thought all this, why did you re, you re um, sign with the top rank? That's, he, that was, man, when this news broke, I was going to call you, but I had some shit I had to take care of. But we're going we gonna to get into that because I, 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 need, I need to know some detailed stuff, man. Because if you suing him, why would you get back in bed? With him business wise, so yeah, I'm, I, it's, it's some explaining exactly. got to get done. Exactly. Bob said today he's trying to start him for ten million. <laughs> this shit just get crazy and crazy. Yeah, man. it's getting crazy and crazy. But y'all know what? In three weeks, Keith One Time Thurman will come back to boxing. How That's about right. that, baby? Y'all can stop all that talking about some sorry ass Bud Crawford who's moving up to fifty four and might not win a fight. Um, what look? Jamil Hinton. I was trying to think of that name. Twenty-two and zero. Come on, Lou. We don't know nothing about no damn Jamil Hinton. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was gonna say was okay. I watched the Porter podcast with uh your boy Keith Thurman Keith on Thurman that on drink, there. and that made a lot of sense of what he was saying. Did you pick up on what he was saying? He said, "I don't care nothing about no reputation. I'm coming back, and I'm coming back for the two top guys." He didn't say it. It was his body mm -hmm. language. You can see it. Mm -hmm. He's like, look, I, he said, I've been in boxing all my life. So y'all rate me how y'all going to rate me. Mm -hmm. I don't care about that. He like, basically like, I just want the two top two guys. And that's it. Exactly. I, th I think he, I, honestly, mm -hmm. I think he might have three fights and he'd be done. Or four mm -hmm. if he take yeah, two warm-ups. Exactly. And take Crawford and Spence and be done. And yeah, you can't even be mad at that. You can't exactly. be mad at that. Exactly. And if y'all don't know, go looking at the Sean Porter podcast thing in case you think I'm lying. When they asked him, they were asked Keith Thurman, and then they asked Sean Porter before Keith came on, mm -hmm. who was the hardest puncher he fought. And it wasn't Terrence Crawford, God damn it. And it wasn't Earl Spence Jr. I keep telling y'all, one time, boy, that one time on your ass when he healthy, baby. I said it again. And Sean Porter said it again. He asked Keith straight up, are you healthy? That's all I need to hear. Yeah. If Keith Thurman healthy, Sean Porter, he would give all of them dudes hell. You know what I mean? And hopefully, Lou, he, he's healthy. Yeah, it'll show. It's going to show, man. I like his energy on the show. For the 45 minutes he was on that joint, man, he showed a lot of energy, man. And I, I like that. I like that the energy that he's going to bring back to boxing, man, if anything. Exactly. Mr. Man said, Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, Jim, I remember um, Jamal and his dad, Mr. Hinton, he was shocked. Palmer Park. <laughs> Palmer Park, baby. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, uh, Monica, like, my emotions with Bud, I understand, Monica. We know, Monica. You emotional butterfly. We know, Monica. It's okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> But you got to get out your emotions sometimes. Eric say, 
take that. Take that down uh, to one fight if Keith uh, get there with Earl next. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Earl, my God. Stop that bullshit. What's you, up, Eric? <laughs> oh, man. Get back, y'all. <laughs> we got bombs. She about to blow us up, Lou. I know, oh, right? Margaret, that's your picture. Let me look. I can't see it. Oh, okay. You been, oh, whoa, girl. You got no thighs on you, too. She look like a Cinnabon. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, man. So y'all coming in, man. Y'all missed a good interview. Y'all going to have to go back and listen to that interview, man. I mean, y'all got to start coming in because sometimes, man, these uh, boxers, they come in early. Like, Sean Bay came in 815. So we mm -hmm. started. So when he came in, we started the podcast. You know what I mean? So maybe I might start um, starting it early and we be on and let them pop in. Maybe that's what I might start doing. And then, you know, everybody can um, come in and get their questions answered. You know what I mean? Lou, get Lou credit today, man. Lou had a whole half a book this time. He <laughs> had a whole notebook to ask questions. He had a half a book. That ask questions, but he let y'all get y'all questions in today. <laughs> That's right. You they know paying I mean? me under the table. <laughs> he he could have had a whole bunch of shit. But Lou, why are you in here? What you think? Turns Crawford for moving up to 54. I just, I don't know, man. I don't know if he got the power to uh, take that, Lewis. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just don't know. I got to, honestly, I got to see the list of 154s that's up there because I haven't been up there looking in a long time. Mm -hmm. But when I do, Right now, for where I stand, I just don't feel like what he has. The, uh, what you want to see? I just don't think he has the punch of power, man. He said the list. Just, Shit. Who you want to see? I can name him. Shit, <laughs> Jerry Heard. <laughs> he might be Jerry Heard though. Nah, nah. You know what I mean? It's different on, when man. you talk about dudes is walking around at two hundred, man. Yeah, exactly One ninety, exactly two hundred ten. Different. Oh man, Eric said all oh, an emotional butterfly. <laughs> 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 oh man. <laughs> Uh, he said, "By Tuesday, my money on Bud to be spent." Okay, well, we'll see. Well, that ain't happening. If it happens, it's gonna be at fifty-four. Rolling pelt, uh, B Scotland. You know what I mean? Um, Eugene Speed. Yeah, Lou. So why why do you think that though, Lou? Why do you think that? That punching power, Lou. I don't think he have enough power to keep them up off of him. Hurt, hurt is like on his way out. But I guarantee, if Terrence Crawford fight him, he get his ass kicked. That one fifty-four. <laughs> that's a different animal, dog. Exactly. Motherfuckers walk around at 190. I just don't think he he would be able to uh, keep a fighter like her or somebody at 154 off of him. I've been wrong before, but I don't think mm -hmm. so. I'm not a big fan of moving up to 154. Well, I mean, that's that's what that's what they saying. They talking about they trying to lure the shark to the water. Sometimes lure the shark to the water. You you might be luring the wrong motherfucker shark to the water. You know exactly. What I mean? You might get that motherfucker. Uh, that that uh, what you call it? The um. The tiger shark. <laughs> nah, sometimes look, they, he he say that he gonna be trying to lure the sharks in, Lou. But sometimes you might not get a motherfucking shark. You might get an orca. <laughs> right, fucking killer whale, Lou. boy. Exactly, Lou. Turns Crawford, Jamel Shallow. How do you think that fight gonna turn out, Lou? Just just give me a, life threatening prediction. Life threatening. Life threatening. That, that that's this devastation. Man. That that no chance. He, he has no chance. <laughs> you don't give him no chance? No, and I know he got boxing skills, but no. Charlotte, eat him alive, Joe. He, he eat him alive. That, man. He just, no, he's just too small, Lou. Too small. Too he light in the ass. Small. You know what I mean? I don't think is there nothing he he can do to really offset. He he got the boxing skills. He might can get away. They, see, they gonna try to measure with Tony Harrison. Two different fighters. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Two different fighters. Tony Harris long. He tall. You know what I mean? He coming forward with a little bit of pop pop. You know what I mean? Crawford moving moving up in weight. Did you see um, Jamel Shallow stand beside Earl Spence Jr.? Nah. Make that nigga oh, look like before, a baby. Yeah. yeah, he do. He do. He do. I did. I seen him at the um at the as, at his brother fight. They was together. Yeah, that you can just look at the shoulder blades, man. Everything it it tells everything. Your your girth, your width, everything, man. It tells the story. Exactly, exactly. Um, shaking my head. This man ain't fought one fight. Y'all already dubbing my man capabilities already. Let him at least get a fight list. Yeah, he'll fight. He'll be, he'll, he'll be Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, 
Jamal said, boy, you better hope keep Thurman when I ain't got to hope nothing. Hoping for niggas who don't believe. I believe, motherfucker. <laughs> he going to win. How about that? You better hope the Redskins win. Oh, they out of it. How about that? Oh, I'm about to say, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Stop that shit. Get that nigga up out of here. Talk that bullshit. Since he was a bonehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And Ernesto Rodriguez retired, undefeated also. What you Googling everybody? Or you just remember? Nah, Kevin, yeah. he like boxing enthusiasts, man. Oh, okay. He know everything, man. This is a boxing Shiloh junkie. Shallow will beat Bud, Monica. Yes, he would. If Bud move up to 54. Gary slapped Bud in the amateur. Enough said. Yeah, he did. Slap the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that reminder, Kevin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uga's going to uh, soften up Spence for Bud. Man, let me tell you, <laughs> Bud ain't even going to get that fight. Bud's going to fight Keith Thurman before he fights Earl Spence. Uh, I know these folks. Okay, Kevin, I hear you, champ. There you go. You know what I mean? But, Lou, man, what you think? He moving up to 54. Look, you got Jerry Hurd. You got um, Law. Or, or Law moved up to 60. I don't know. You got Con Con – um, He can't. can he be Cast Castano? Nah. Lou will say nah to everybody. Nah. Nah, uh, I, I, look, you know I ain't got no horse in the race. I just call it I like know. I see it, man. Uh, just... What's my man? What's my man name, Lou? Uh, Erickson Lubin? Nope. <laughs> J-Rock? Uh, <J> nope. <laughs> Damn. Hey, I'm trying to get Bud to fight, man. Okay, I got you. I got one for him, Lou. Danny Garcia, Bud Crawford. Okay, he might got a problem. You might, you might got something because he's a, newly, he's a newly. He's a newly. He hasn't even fought at 154 yet. Yeah, so they both will be newbies. So that'd be yeah. a good fight. There I, you go. There you go, Luke. There you go, matchmaker. Okay, <laughs> if that fight was to happen, I will take Bud. <laughs> yeah. I will take Bud. Danny, got, Danny only got that one hit, no, no look, left foot, left yeah. hand. <laughs> that ain't hard to avoid. That's Hell no. Sure. You know, man, I'm telling you, man, there's a lot of stuff going on, Louis, these politics, man. And I'm just now, see, what Sean Bay said, they need to start calling people out and stop respecting. Them Shilohs gave Canelo too much respect. Mm -hmm. Now they calling them out. Like Jamal just said, he said, nigga, I come out of your house in Mexico and fight you in the backyard. You know what I mean? That's what they need to start doing. You know what? Because eventually Canelo fans going to get tired of him running, Lou. Yeah. You know what you I mean? You can only do it for so long. I was just going to say that, man. You hit the nail right on the head. You can only have it so much and your fans start believing like, damn, why isn't he fighting them? Because they listen and they just learn over time to ignore it and just look the other way. Mm -hmm. But if you keep hitting that button, man, to say, look, man, you got to fight somebody, a meaningful fight, your fans start looking at that, man. Exactly. Uh, Monica say, easy on Thurman, but we'll watch Thurman. All right. If you say so. I ain't going to say the bug can beat them all. But through the stop winging these women on, man. You know, damn well, he can't beat them all, man. And, and, and you supposed you post to know, had a knowledge. Look what the hell wrong about the Thulis, Lou. <laughs> he, on that, he on that choke of smoking, Lou. He like that icky wicky. Yeah. And for those of y'all who don't know, you're just getting in here. It was some fights canceled. Some fights we really don't give a fuck about, like Jesse Vargas. And Liam uh, Smith or Walsh, one of them, that fight was canceled. It gonna, was it they postponed gonna or canceled? Postponed. They're going to be pushed back two weeks. Um, for Draza, Ramirez, that joint going to be pushed back. So, COVID, I hope COVID don't stop a lot of these other fights, man. If they do, I'm, I'm going to fuck COVID up, Luke. Yeah, man. We're going to have to go looking for it, man. Exactly, man. Yes, man. I mean, I'm telling you. you. You see in Toronto, man, there's no, there's no fans in the stands. Canada, yeah. ain't, Canada ain't playing that, Joe. Exactly. Um, Bob through the butt is leading no matter what. Yeah, they ain't playing. That's why I told these people, you better get your money. Lou, you know what's up? We got a lot to talk about in the upcoming days, man. Because I know some subject I want to talk about. Roly, you know, we I was on that shit hard. And I told mm -hmm. you, you can't believe a lot of these women say, man. And he he had a good talk today when he went on Ellis Set Back Live, man. He said he used to fuck the girl for seven years. The girl that said that stuff. So come on, man. 
it, he said it's all about money. They wanted money and stuff like that. And the truth finally came out, and they ain't find no misconduct, nothing like that, man. I mean, he missed one point five million dollars. Yeah, because of that bullshit. He said he wanted to buy his mother a house and stuff like that. He looked like so, he looked, uh, man. He looked yeah, like it looked he like he's about to cry, cry man. Yeah, because you got to think. This is what this is what these guys do for a living, Lewis. They ain't like us. When you go put an application for a job, they're not doing that. Their job is fighting. And when you take that away from a person or affect his way of earning money, just think, man, he probably never get a payday more than he was going to get with Tank. Mm -hmm. He got a family, you know what I'm saying, to feed. So, mm -hmm. And for it to be false, man, like not only his money, Lewis, his name, his reputation, it's mm -hmm. going to be hard for executive to come in and want to sponsor that fight because of the stuff that he was alleged uh and it's going exactly yeah. man and it's just sad man y'all got watching the interview go on es news man uh Rolly had a three four minute statement you know talking about what happened and stuff like that he said you fucked the girl for seven years and this you're gonna pull that crap because he didn't want to fuck with us something i forgot he's something yeah. like that, man. and um it's just crazy man you don't do that to nobody man he said the same thing we all us men say if they falsely accuse you, they should pay the price some kind of way. Yep. Hold their ass accountable, man. And then exactly. maybe some of that shit wouldn't be happening. Because I remember when it first happened. And, you know, I was like, damn. You was like, nah, Lewis, more than what you think, man. And when we, remember, we talked about this, man. You was like, we both, at the while, I was just like, damn, you might be right, man. Um, I don't think he would do something like that. Mm -hmm. And it, 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 it just, I was 50-50 with it. But as time go on, man, you start the facts start coming out, man. You like, damn. That's fucked up. That shit wasn't true, man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. And and it just, it just hurts you. You know, dude need to feed his family and people make up these um lies and stuff about your... It, it, it just fucked up, man. You know what I mean? But I wish him the best, man. I hope he gets some good fights in. But through said exactly what happened to innocent until proven guilty. Exactly. That shit ain't Same the same anymore. media outlets that said he was guilty. They all jumped to conclusions, man. It didn't, didn't like the Earl Smith eye situation, man. You know what I mean? Can't wait to see my Washington 49ers um, this weekend. Never know. Later, fellas. All right, Cam. All right, you know Cam. I mean? We appreciate you, champ. Now, it might be the last week for the 49ers, but don't worry about it, champ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, look, it's just crazy, man. Yeah. He messed that man life up, man. He had a chance to make $1.5 million, and they fucked him. But you know what? What I would have liked to see done, and because like boxing enthusiasts say, it's innocent until proven guilty. Mm -hmm. So I would have liked to see the fight still happen and then investigate that shit later. Everybody else gets that that opportunity. Well, most guys get the opportunity. I would have liked to see the fight still go on, man. Mm -hmm. exactly. I really would have because you're talking about a guy livelihood, man. Exactly, and they and they should have kept them fighting until you know shit changed to see what happened, man. You know what I mean? Let it go through the court system and shit like that, man. Instead of pulling them out, it's, well, we just black men got fucked up, y'all. We yeah, got we, it fucked up. Yeah. It's just simple as that, man. And until um things change, it's not going to change, man. And it's just so unfortunate, man. It's just so unfortunate. Lou, I told you some news today. What did you think about it? Do y'all? Guy ain't gonna be in a tough fight, man. He is. He in for a good fight. Guy ain't gonna I, be in a tough fight, and, and is he? You think he gonna be there mentally, Lou? Yeah, I think. I, Even that's though, what, if people don't know what happened. Tell him. I tell him. Guy was the father. Got his foot. I think his foot or leg. One of them. Excuse me if I'm wrong. But one of them, his foot or leg amputated a month ago, and he was talking about it yesterday on the conference call. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody really been training him. He been training himself. You know what I mean? But, you know, he can do it. Floyd basically trained himself. So, you know what I mean? But um, is he going to be there mentally, Lou? He going to have to. He ain't going to have to. And that's one thing I, I really like about him is his fortitude. And I think this is going to be tested. Uh, you know, like you say, in training, one of the things that you need is your mental to be strong. Mm -hmm. And that would, that would be a blow for anybody knowing that your, you know, your pops or your mom or whatever just, you know, have an illness. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something that you have to deal with. Keep it moving and show fortitude in times of this of this nature, man, and just move on. I I, I think he'd be ready. Yeah, I hope so, man. Uh, uh, Lorenzo Jackson say, "Champ, who wins between Gary Russell versus Tank David?" Well, let me let me say it first, baby. I like both of them. I really love both of them. You know, they real good fighters. 
It don't go past nine rounds. Tank Davis knocks Gary out. And when Gary come on here, I will tell him that, and I will tell him why. I think Gary is an excellent boxer, but he's old. You can wear him down. Tank vicious to the body. If Lomachenko can do that, even if Gary was ill and stuff like that, Tank Davis can do it, and he can do it better. You yeah. know what I mean? So maybe Gary was like five, four years younger, five years younger. Yeah, yes, they're, yes. They're tougher, man. Thanks you know for clearing that up because that's where I, that's the avenue that I was getting ready to take. Tough, but now, nah, no chance. Gary can't do nothing to Tank. He can, nah. you know, what I mean, he can he can keep him off of him because Gary got the little pop and the quick hands. But how long can he keep Tank off of him? Yeah, you know before what I mean? Tank land one of them life threatening uh, uppercuts, <laughs> man. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm the same way. I'm, I'm, you, I'm you rolling right down the alley with me. I'm glad you pointed out if Gary was younger. If mm -hmm. Gary was younger, I would have the fight a little closer. But I got to mm -hmm. go on what you were saying, man. Uh, I think Tank probably nine or ten rounds. Yeah, it might not go that long, man. You know what I mean? But Gary, a warrior, you know, he going to stand there and fight, man. But how long can you last when the dude hit like motherfucking uh, middleweights? Yes. The dude hit like a middleweight. He quick like featherweights. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <laughs> oh, I man. like that. <laughs> oh, man, I mean, it is what it is, man. Um, Tank puts him unconscious though, Boston Thule. Yeah, it, it'll be hard for Gary. Uh, Monica says she's still on Thurman. Thurman really needs to ask Porter about Bud Powell. He did. He did, Monica. You did. You gotta go, you gotta go, go watch, watch him, Monica. Show. Don't yeah. believe me? Go watch the show. Tell him what he said, Lou. He said, hey, that he's the hardest guy he ever, the hardest punch he's ever faced was Keith Thurman. That's it. And you know, I don't have no horse in the race, Monica. I'm just, big fella said, man, you need to check out this podcast. Sean Porter podcast, and I watched it. I got everything that I needed out of it. They was they were talking like brothers before um Sean left. Before um Thurman left, Sean said, "Brother, I really love you, man. Yep. Truly, he said yep. that, man. And then, you know these guys really like each other. So mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, Porter said, "Are you good? That's Are back. you healthy? That's back. That's all he wanted to know. Yeah, that's all wrote. he wanted to know." And I like what he said. He said, "The energy you got." He said, "Save a little bit." He said, "I got plenty." <laughs> I got plenty. <laughs> they love. They did laugh like. But I see the big black guy. I've got a day. He he. He remind me of me, man. He was trying he to pump like, Thurman up, and Sean it, was trying to bring him oh, down. Yeah, yeah cause it, uh, Sean said, "If you get him talking, he ain't gonna never stop." Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Michael said, "Thurman will be running like a duck against Bud." Okay, that's all I'm gonna keep saying. Okay, I just hope he don't disappoint y'all. I just hope so. Bud don't have dinosaur arms. Believe me. <laughs> He don't have T Rex on um, Monica. Nah, Bud got long reach too. He's like what 72? Yeah, 72. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. When was Keith last KO? I don't know. Um, I don't know, but um when did um when was Bud last KO of an elite class fighter that was focused? That'll that'll solve all that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Do you I mean, hear crickets. Do you hear crickets? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, <laughs> cricket, 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 cricket. Shit, them same dudes, bud, knocked out Keith with a knocked out. You know, what I mean, I'm talking about the Keith with the healed body, not the Keith with the fucked up hands, the scar tissue, and all that bullshit. You know, what I mean, yeah, all right, all right, well, you know, we know you know the facts. You know, what I mean, he know, no, no, he bring the facts and everything. Louis Cazazo, yeah, 2015. Mm -hmm. My man, boxing enthusiast, boy, I tell you. <laughs> Monica, oh, she's like, really, Porter? <laughs> exactly. I mean, the truth just set the truth free one day, Monica. I mean, it is what it is, man. Bud moving up to fight bigger and better opponents. I just, man, I'm just going to be like, I'm going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna scurry movie that joint? Yeah, I'm like, hey, look, cause every punch, I'm gonna be like, damn, I hope they don't fuck this guy. Damn, <laughs> every punch gonna be devastating, man. But Bug can take it. Bug, Bug can outfight something to do. Yeah, he Bug got skills, man. And Bug got he skills. wasn't focused. Yeah, he wasn't focused, man. Y'all wrong for that. Oh well, to us. <laughs> yeah, Lou. So we got these fights coming up, Lou. Who you got? What big fight you looking forward to? Two. Well, Gary fighting two weeks. That should be here quick. I was looking forward to um, Shoe Shoe's fight this weekend, but that's been postponed to the 29th. Mm -hmm. um, looking forward to uh, Gary Russell to see if he can bounce back from a long layoff. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Keith Thurman. Want to see what he's going to do coming off a long layoff because mm -hmm. um, 
he's been gone for a while, man. We we got to see if he still has what it takes to be one of the four kings. Yeah. See if he see if he's he's still worthy of sitting on that throne, man. Those are the fights mm-hmm. I'm really looking at. And another thing, when is um Joshua and Usyk fight? Is what, what is it? April, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that too because, like I always say, I want to see if Joshua can show fortitude and bounce back from his devastating loss from Usyk, man. Yeah. Monica say, but but Bud TKO'd them faster than Spence. Yeah, he did. He sure did. But you know why? Because everybody else warmed down. <laughs> he done fought Kel Brook, Danny Garcia, Keith Thurman, Earl Spence, four world champions before he fought Bud. He was done. He was done, yeah. Monica. He mm-hmm. was done. That's all. You know, y'all want to talk that shit? Let's talk. He was done. Oh, ain't no fact. Lou, ain't no facts in it. Triple G. Lou said, not Triple G, because he the fuck Triple G. Canelo said, hold your horses. He might not be going up to 74. I mean 75. He might be fighting Jamal Shallow. So yeah. we, we might still got it, Lou. Yeah, you know, I, I, I did hear that. I'm not gonna get hyped until I see the, to, until they announce that motherfucker, Lou. I ain't gonna get hyped, man. Well, look, ask me where I'm at right now. Where you at? In the middle. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle, I'm yeah, right here with it. I'm in the middle because mm-hmm. last week, you know, Sunday when you told me, you know, I was sick as a dog. I was like, damn, I got must up some energy because I want to talk about this shit. And I was hyped. And then as time go on, uh, you know, you hear about the him moving up to Canelo moving up to 175. I'm like, boo, like, okay. But then you kind of jockey yourself and put yourself in the middle and just be neutral. Hope and mm-hmm. pray that the fight happens. Because I think we need this. I think boxing needs this fight to kick off 2022. One mm-hmm. of the fights to kick off 2022. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hope so, man. Because we're going to be sitting here waiting, man. Y'all in here, uh, answer some questions. Because we ain't got to but 10 more minutes. We out of here. Lou got go to go to work. And I got to go to sleep. <laughs> so, That's right. So bring everything bring you got everything to the table, got, Monica. What you want to talk about, Monica? Here she go. You, you ain't had to say. Oh, wait. But Bob through to say. I agree. Keith is a big puncher, but his last real KO was. Why y'all still talking about Keith Thurman in 2013? I think it was Diego shot. So what? What? What did you come to the conclusion with, Boston Thuzzi? What'd you come to a conclusion? Uh, see, uh, uh, washing it down. Monica don't like us, Luke. Um, I know she don't. No credit, Spence told Bud to get a belt four years ago. He is not a man of his word. Can't believe nothing comes out of Spence's mouth. Okay. He, all right, let's put it this way, Monica. He told him to get a belt, right, Lou? Mm-hmm. Bud got a belt. Who didn't make the fight, Lou? It can't. Why is Bud Crawford suing Bob Arm, Lou? Because of things like this. Situations like this. All the stuff that was allegedly happening back then, you can take this, this situation that he's suing Bob Arm. And so all this shit together and make one big ass sweater. How about that? <laughs> Monica, blame Bob Earn for not making the fights, not Earl Spence Jr. That's all I'm gonna say. Bob Earn didn't make the fights. That's why Terrence Crawford is suing Bob Earn. You know what I mean? He he felt he held him back. He playing the race car. Oh, this shit gonna be crazy. I wish I was in the court. I had me some popcorn like this, Luke. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> you stupid. Just saying, it's been nine years since his last KO or TKO. You know what? And But he still found a way to win, Boston through this. So, yeah. You can't knock everybody. Hey, when was Floyd Mayweather last KO? Oh, Lou, I got him on the ropes. Oh, yeah. Will, I'm willing the man, man Lou. I'm willing the man. man. I'm willing the man. When was Floyd Mayweather last KO, Boston through this? I can't even remember. Shit, who was it? Um, uh, uh, Vir- Virgil Ortiz, wasn't it? I mean, what's called Victor Ortiz? Yeah, Victor, yeah, Victor Ortiz. Ortiz yeah. Right? yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. So you, you, that that shit don't mean nothing, man. Why he showed up for bull fight and said nothing? They protecting. <laughs> Monica ain't gonna give it up, Lou. She's she not gonna give it up, man. Nothing like stopping him now. How many times he have to add? <laughs> What the fuck is this? Ice cream? No, oh, popcorn. Shit. Popcorn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, uh, get your popcorn. <laughs> yeah, I am, man. But I'm telling you, man. That's all. We. I just want to know, man. We about to talk about live shit tomorrow. You know what I mean? Eight thirty tomorrow. Man, Lou gonna break. A, we gonna break something down. I ain't gonna say nothing because 
people watching and listening. Mm -hmm. Hey, look, let me whisper. We're going to talk about it. Yeah, we're going to talk. <laughs> we're yeah. we going to talk with code. That's that. You got to whisper up this motherfucker, man, because you start telling people what you're going to do. They be, they, you know, they come on before us, and you know what I mean? Then they come on beside us. They get the same content. So fuck that. Hey, look, you got to whisper now. We got to get, like, the offensive coordinators and the head coaches. I'm like, look, big fella, hey, look. look at your list. <laughs> I need you to go to your book and go to page two and look at what we're talking about. And that's exactly. what we're talking about tomorrow. Exactly, <laughs> man. But uh, man, let me tell y'all, man. We thank everybody for coming in, man. We thank all of y'all for hitting the like button and the, telling the people about the show, man. We just getting better. We really hope one day that Monica really sit down and think that um her uh, Bud Crawford is not what she think he is. You know what I mean? We just hope. But until somebody beat him, she can think what she want. But blame Bob Arum and don't blame the fighters for not making them That's fight. Right. You can't blame nobody else for what's in your backyard. That's it. Make it a surprise an hour before you come on. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what we're going to do. But I'll tell you, next Wednesday, woo wee! Another, we got one, another good one. You know what I mean? We man, got another we are, good one, man. We are booked up for the whole month. So if you're out there, you want to go on the rebuttal, you better get to calling because we is booking up exactly. every week, and, every Wednesday. We're going to bring it to y'all. And, and it ain't up with two fighters that we are unbooked for. Adrian Brown and Keith Thurman. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. They we call in. Up, Luke. Hey, Luke, we got to make up something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, be like no. this. Be like Ray, man. He said, man, God damn it. He said, man, we got to change this shit up, man. We got to change it up. We, we'll come up with some shit. We'll come up with something. We love you too, Monica. Monica, how did you like the show yesterday? Larry told me to tell you hi, Monica. Mr. Larry. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> they love Larry, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But let me, oh, before we leave, let me put this shit up. I forgot all about it, Lou. Y'all got questions, email, hit the email, the Butter Entertainment Gmail. See your yeah, questions for how men think and how women think, whatever you want to know. There you go. Send me all kinds of new pictures and everything. Man, Lou likes saying shit like that. So, you know what I mean? There we go. We perverts. We ain't, we ain't rolling, but we all right. Yeah, we ain't going to take no shit. We just going to take it in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Monica say it was good. Okay, man. Yeah, Thanks, man. Monica. So just getting in. You know, hit the like button. We really appreciate it, man. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. We same time tomorrow, man. Um, we'll let y'all know what the top is going to be tomorrow, eight thirty shop. Um, that's how we're going to do it. We got two more uh, comments. Uh, Mid second say at at where <laughs> here. Tony just shading. Yeah, man. So yeah, thank Miss Sexy, thank Monica, thank everybody. Ray John, Tony, everybody for coming in. J A Eric, man. I, I can't name them all, man. The we appreciate you. Look, the just say the crew. whole rebuttal crew. How about that? The whole rebuttal <laughs> crew and the new people that came in, we really like. And we're going to read Boston through this last question. Bud stopped his last 10 opponents, but his has no power. Keep ain't in eight years. Uh, keep the same energy. I love Keep, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Boston through this. Boston through this. No, no. <laughs> He had bad hands, man. He That's had right. bad hands. <laughs> he had bad hands, man. No pictures. <laughs> Miss X say no pictures. <laughs> oh, God. Y'all funny, man. But, yeah, Lou, they, they ain't trying to let us get up out of here, Lou. No, they ain't. But we getting up out of here, man. Thank y'all again, man. Let me hit this damn thing before they start adding 50 more motherfucking questions. See y'all tomorrow, baby. 830 See, shop. 830. We love y'all. Peace, baby. <laughs>